Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to topic 4. In this topic, we're going to be understanding the asset editor. Now, before we understand what the asset editor is and how does it comprise of everything, I'm actually going to be creating a very small little object over here so we can actually understand the asset editor in detail and then we'll move on to the next tab in the next topic. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a rectangle over here, give it a thickness. Let's just make this into a group and I'm simply going to create another rectangle and a straight line like this. So we have a box. Now if you want, you can create a box or if you want, you can also create a very simple dome over here. Just something easy as this. Now since this is not a SketchUp topic, I'm actually going to not be explaining this, but if it's very easy, you can simply create a, you know, a sleeping circle as well as an upright circle. Select the curve of the sleeping circle, select follow me and click on the sphere and that's it. You guys have yourself a sphere as well. Now I can actually move this down. I think we'll actually go ahead and use the sphere. Let's just delete this one off. Make this into a group. Nicely place one, two and three. So three spheres just like that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and select the bucket from here. And what I'm going to do is after I select the bucket, I'm actually going to select a couple of materials over here. Let's not select materials, but I'm simply going to give it color. So red color, then let's say green color and let's give this blue color. So I have simply given three colors over here. Now remember, either you give it a color or you give it a material in SketchUp. We will always be able to change it completely in V-Ray. That's what V-Ray is all about. Now, when I click on V-Ray Asset Editor and it opens up, you guys can see over here that we have the blue color over here. Now, let me explain to you guys what this asset editor is all about. Now, we're going to just be understanding the material tab in the asset editor. All right. For now. And every time in the next topic, when I explain the light, we'll come to the light tab. And then when I explain geometry, we'll come to the geometry tab. So the first thing over here is the materials. Now guys, in the materials, you guys can see that we have on the left, we have, you guys can see over here, multiple different materials. And that comes out from here. We can actually see various different materials already over here. And each of these materials are actually V-Ray materials altogether. Then in the center, we have the material list. That is all the materials in SketchUp will be seen over here. You can see Chris hair, Chris pants, Chris shirt, Chris shoe. If I delete Chris in total, you'll see the materials have still not been deleted, but we can automatically delete these materials. That's not going to be much of an issue. So I can simply go here, right click and delete. And we can do that for all the materials of Chris. Finally, you guys will notice that we have color A04, F06 and I04. These are the three colors that we have given in this object. So here you can see the materials are being seen over here. So definitely you can see that there is a little bit of difference between this red and this red, between this green and this green. This is a little bit more realistic and between this blue and this blue. When I say realistic, I just mean basic matte paint realistic. But I said a little bit more, I didn't say completely. That's our job to make this look really good, really neat. Is it a metal? Is it a paint? Is it concrete? Is it glass? What is it? That's completely up to us. Now, all of these things come under the material list. Now, to bring it over here, I can simply select from here. But let's say we have 200 materials. It's going to be very difficult to actually find the material over here. The best thing we can do is we can rename a material by simply double clicking on this. And then let's say renaming this as blue, renaming this as red and renaming this as green. So that's basically what we can do. But still 200 materials is going to be a little difficult for us to, you know, completely find. So what we're going to do is we can use the bucket tool and I can simply select material from here. 
and this i'm selecting with the eye picker the eye picker is available on the bucket tool over here or you can simply select the bucket tool and holding alt you can actually select each of these materials like this and that's how you can finally find out material over here you can see this is default material default material is not read by vray so we will not be using the default material we'll always put some of the other material so that we can pick it and edit it now we can use the quick settings to do a qu quick setting over here now these are really very good settings in total when we come to the quick settings topic i'll actually be explaining this to you guys on the right over here we have the vray brdf which is extremely important for us and we have an entire topic just on vray brdf so i'll be coming to that as well later on and this is the large settings these are the quick settings this is the material list and this is the materials of vray then you have the light settings now you can see over here in the last topic we had actually added a couple of lights but then we deleted them for this topic so that's why those lights are still being shown over here what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to delete all these by right clicking and deleting on these lights but if you guys noticed we have the sunlight which is always there that's how you basically saw that sun in the initial render as well and when i do this we can actually get the settings for the light so every time we add a light that light will come up over here and then we can get into the settings of that light then we have geometry geometry is same we are adding the infinite plane and the v-ray for and you can see we can get into their settings over here which we will be doing in the later topics last is the settings so the settings consist of renderer camera render output environment material override and swamp so we'll be seeing this as well later on and we have the large and we have the larger detailed settings the ray trace global illumination the caustics render elements and the switches and we have the you know the different types of rendering so we have render and render interactive and of course if you want to see the buffer frame so that's basically what consists of in the vray asset editor majorly it'll be the material settings we do here then every time we add something from lights or geometry we'll be editing that as well now all of this comes under the vray asset editor and that's all for this topic we're actually going to continue in the next topic which is the light tabs where i explain to you guys uh, these light tabs in the asset editor as well and the geometry in the asset editor as well so i will see you guys in the next topic that's topic five till then take care and i'll see you then